Hi John, how are you doing? Hi David, I'm doing well, how are you? I'm doing very well. Um, so we're, we're going to talk about missing data. Good, of course. I mean, um, who hasn't encountered this while working with data before? You, know, you, you can always, this is inevitable. In fact, well, so. I mean, it, it is. But I, one of the things I quite like is this distinction between missing data and missing values. Everybody thinks about missing values, you know, and, and that's what you always uh, yeah. have. But, you know, there's also this really interesting aspect, especially when you're sort of working with big data, of, of missing data, people whose voice wasn't heard. You know, that's another interesting aspect. Um, but yeah, one example, yeah, one example ahead. could be like if you are working with, your, let's say, climate data, you know, daily data, for instance, and then some of the days are totally missing, like, you know, so it's not there, you know, you cannot see it. Absolutely. So well, it's missing, you can but know it's, that not, it's missing not a because very, there's a, there's a yes. gap in your dates. And so you can yes. fill that in. So unless, then, unless you check. It becomes missing values. Yeah. Yes. So yes. So there are instances where like an observation, the, the entire observation is missing, but it's really I've, important. I've, to, to, <laughs> I have uh, climatic yes. data is a fantastic example to draw out for missing data and missing values. You know, one of my favorite ones is that if you look at missing data historically, um, at particularly volunteer stations, you tend to find that missing data occurs more often, let's say, on a Sunday. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> or even Chris, Christmas days. A Christmas or day. You know. is a, yes, exactly. There's, there's, sort of, yes. there's certain days where the, the, you, know, you somehow, by, just by chance maybe, you have missing values more <laughs> often than others. And then it's very yes. interesting that if you then take the average rainfall on a Monday, it's higher than on other days. I wonder why that yes. might be. <laughs> Maybe your Sunday rainfall has been counted in with your Monday rainfall. You know, and thinking about what do you do about this, I mean, this sort of this sort of example is so powerful to sort of think that you know, okay, there's nothing you can do to fix that. You can't know whether the rain occurred yeah. on the Sunday or the Monday when the Sunday is missing and the Monday has a higher than average rainfall. But you can know. Does it matter for the analysis you have? Or is that okay? And so what quality of data do you need? And these are sort of questions where, where you know, just an awareness of missing data and missing values oh, is so important. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so there are cases where it wouldn't matter. For instance, if you are just looking at a total of rainfall, um, it doesn't matter which day they put it. But like, if you really want to check rainfall occurrences, you know, on specific days, then this becomes Absolutely. an issue. Exactly. So if you want to know how often it rains, then suddenly it's an issue because it seems to rain less often in that sense. Yeah. Because you sort of you yeah. put together maybe two rainfall events in one, um, you know, and yeah. so it could it can lead to problems. You know, it it can lead to problems if you're doing a threshold analysis for a certain type or sort of analyzing data on a specific day. So it might mean you want to yeah. do that threshold analysis over two or three days because then you're actually getting the right data in some sense. So, you know, yes. it can change how you analyze your data if you understand the nature of the missing data. Yes, and exactly. It's uh, an extremely powerful topic. I, I guess it's not by chance that the two of us have slipped into to climate, is it? But anyway, <laughs> we both love that. Never mind. Yes, of course. <laughs> data, there is no better topic. So. Yes. It's, yeah, it's a, it's a very good, you know, case to use for missing value. Absolutely. Data, you know, Even if we are biased in saying that, but never mind. Yeah. And, and the reason is, you know, when you come to the climatic sector, we have the organizations like the med services who are there that you can usually refer to. So it also explains when you have to go back to the experts, you know, to exactly. check, you know, I, so they are, you know, they, they are supportive in that sense. And yeah. Well, and this is sort of the, one of the huge headaches, you know, for med services is to think 
Well, what do they do about their missing data? Because they can't solve all of these problems. They can solve some of them. Maybe we have some of them have a paper record if it was done a long time ago. Yeah. Um, and and maybe it's sort of you know, but maybe they had an automatic station which broke down. I still remember when we were managing automatic stations and we had whole gaps in the data because um, of the rainfall because the the the, the little thing got stuck. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So it was stop collecting data. And so that data is no. lost. And there's nothing you can do to recover it. And so you sometimes have to accept that machine, you know, mechanical failure. I've yeah. had that. You know, there are going to be issues with missing data. And just because they occur doesn't mean that you're powerless to them. But you do need to be to be responsible. You've got to be knowing what they are and where they're coming from. Uh, anyway, yeah. we've got totally diverted by climate. We hope other people are interested in climate. And so, and the, <laughs> but certainly the idea of missing no. data is in everything. Yeah. Actually, I feel it's, it's not about the topic. It's really just about missing data, you know. Absolutely. So even if and someone is not into climate, but, you know, it's just <laughs> a way of, you know, highlighting how you know, missing data affects you know, you know, and, the analysis that we do. Um, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and one of the reasons I like climate as an example for missing data is people can understand it intuitively. So we hope that you, you appreciate the missing data sort of link. Um, this has even come in. There's a, there's a nice part of this related to the, um, to the practical example. You know, I still remember when you guys were doing the Millet game and, and some people fell into this sort of trap of, a, of the missing data there. So maybe some <laughs> people have got here through that. Um, anyway, with this is... <laughs> Um, <laughs> it's been fun. Yes. Um, <laughs> thanks. Thanks, yeah, it's, John. It's, it's fantastic discussing this. Thank you. Cheers. Mm -hmm.